Okay, I know it's been a while since I made a YouTube video, but I've been busy with a few things, but I figure, well, better get back at it. So, I'm making a new video. What the plan is, is I'm gonna make one of those propane fireplaces. Pretty much seems like all summer long now, there's always a campfire ban on, and for most of the summer, you can still use these propane fireplaces. So first, we'll cut everything out on the burning table here. Then I got some pieces to roll, some weird fucking rings that I've never rolled before, and then just some other basic stuff. Then we'll slap it all together. I have no idea how this is gonna work as far as like the propane mixture and all that goes, but we'll figure it out. So let's get started. So here is gonna be the holes for the flame to come through. So I, I had it set so it just was basically the thickness of, a, of one pierce. Okay, so here I've got the uh, rolled piece. So approximately where those two arcs are, uh, that will be the diameter of the circle that I want. So we got the circle with the ring welded together. And now what I gotta do is I got the burner, which is gonna go inside of there. And then the base, which is gonna go below it. I'll probably put like a half inch in between them. First I gotta drill a hole in this base to mount this uh, thread. So this is just a quarter inch pipe thread, which I'll then put this piece in, which is a uh, half inch nipple. So I got the base in there. I got the thread welded on it. And uh, it was a tight fucking fit, I can tell you that. So, really. so what I'll do now is I'll put some propane to it. I'll light this thing, see how it looks. If it looks good, I'll throw a few tacks. I probably don't need to weld this solid. Okay, so I got this thing burning here. It seems to be uh, burning not too bad. It doesn't necessarily look like the propane is burning out of all the holes, but it's burning out of enough that it's a, I mean, a pretty good flame. I probably won't ever use a flame that big. I don't have a regulator on here. So after that test, I decided to weld the inside because when I flipped it over, there was actually soot on the bottom of the metal there, so there would have been propane burning on the bottom side, which isn't very good. So I decided as a precaution, 
to weld around the bottom. The top though, I won't worry about it. I'll just stitch it because it doesn't really matter because the propane's all coming out the top. So now from here, I'm just gonna work on getting the fittings on here in the copper line out to our output. And then I can uh, mess around with how to get a, a better propane oxygen mixture. So I was saying earlier that the propane wasn't burning very cleanly. I was getting a little bit of soot and I believe that's because it needs to have some air that's being mixed into it ahead of time, kind of like how a barbecue works, I guess. So there is a, a, I don't know if you call it a valve or whatever, it's a little piece that mixes the propane in the air. I don't have one. I'm gonna try by drilling a hole in the one that I have. Um, for the fitting that I have to see if it will create that and then uh, if it does well that'd be great if it doesn't well then I'll have to order that other valve Okay, so as you just saw that didn't work at all There was propane shooting out of that hole just like it was coming out of the top So I'm gonna order that valve off of Amazon in the meantime uh, while I'm waiting for that to come in I'm just gonna build some simple legs to put on the bottom of this space it off the ground a little bit And then when that valve comes in then we'll tackle getting that thing in there Okay, so I got the valve off Amazon, stuck it on there, still doesn't work. I never got a picture of the valve, I should have. It's basically just um, this brass uh, piece there and it just has little holes in it all the way around. It's hard to see. I think my problem is this copper line is restricting my flow. So my next plan is I got these two fittings that will replace that copper line that that's half inch pipe thread flow right into the bottom of the burner. And uh, I'm crossing my fingers and I'm hoping that this is gonna work. Okay, so this is the air mixing piece. As you can see it has holes in that end and that's where the propane goes in. There's an arrow on it here. This side, supposed to be a mix of propane and air. You can see the holes inside I'm gonna light it up, give it a shot, hopefully it works. Okay, I got it lit up, I'm pretty happy. So I'll just show you here underneath. So I am getting a, whoa, a little bit of a leak uh, right where that thing sits on there. But I just can put some high heat silicone on that and fix that. I'm not getting a leak over where those holes are anymore, which is what the problem was before. So uh, no, this is, this is way, way better. Well, that's uh, another one in the books. Done. Finally. 
but I'm pretty happy with how it turned out and uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed that and uh, well hopefully it's not too long till I make another one anyway thanks for watching